At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. I don't know if this is rude or not, but this has got to be like the cleanest I've ever seen our room. Like even like my stall, like Stubby, our team trainer, I went and organized all my stuff so everything's all clean on the inside of my busted stick. This is what this guy is the best in the world. Very fine attention to detail. So today is the start of the new work week. Today's practice, tomorrow is a game day. Tomorrow is the top team in the league coming into our building. Uh, just picking off of uh, from a couple, you know, stats and whatnot from looking at the league website. This is a team that wins a lot of low-scoring games, plays good defense, so it's going to be imperative to work on a couple things, a lot of whistles, covering a lot of pucks, great rebound control, silencing my feet, and as well as the eyes. Get the eyes going, all that kind of simple, simple stuff. A very simple, clean game for tomorrow is the game plan. As of right now, their goalie, I think, leads the league in like all the various statistical categories, but as far as I'm concerned, I really don't give a shit because all the other stats, leading the league in this stat, this stat, you know, whatever, it doesn't really matter. The only stat that matters is wins, and I'm here to put up a lot of them. It is a hammer and nails, get on the tractor, and go to work and start plowing the field kind of day. Simple day, because again, tomorrow's game day. Tomorrow is one of the ones that matters. Kids do not understand what it really takes. You think that you go to practice and you've done enough, that's not the case. Everybody emulates someone who's successful. They always emulate the end. So people dress like Eminem, or they dress like Jay-Z, or they dress like Carey Price, or they dress like their favorite goalie. They buy the same equipment, they buy the helmet, they want to look like them, they want to act like them, but they don't do the work that created that guy. Why don't you emulate them from the beginning when they trained hard, when they worked out in a rink that they, they didn't turn on all the lights because you know they weren't supposed to be on the ice. Just watch and just ask yourself, are you pivoting and shuffling? No. That's a lot, like left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, while you're moving right. Your head is going to allow your body, your lower body to get into position so that you can move. I'm being too aggressive and then I need to make my decision on when I want to leak forward to take away that space. Move smoothly and then when they're about to engage, then get into that, that set position and block the puck out. Hey, I love you. I'm just, I'm just asking. Don't shoot. I'm not looking. Okay. That's all I'm asking. Oh my god, I'm sweating. It's called working hard. We're working hard. Yeah. Okay. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We're good. Why are you crying? I'm working hard. You have no idea what working hard is like. Oh. So it's a game day. And winning's fun. We're gonna do some more of it tonight. Screen, screen in front. Watch, get, get one.
Big one, big toe save. Big blocker. That's what we like. Big rival save. Holy shit, it's fucking hot right now. Three for a dollar. Three piece in a soda. Discount the fries. No, 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 no. There you go, Stretch. Let's go in. We got smoked. 5-2. I'm, I'm not happy with the performance. Five goals and 26 shots. That's, that's fucking dog shit. The opposing goalie was better in every single way. He made simple saves. He made effective saves. He made timely saves. He probably barely broke a sweat. It looked so easy out there for him. I couldn't make the timely save. I couldn't make the big save when we needed it. We needed a save. I, I know that third goal was like the goal of the year. I needed that save to keep it 2-1 going in the third. Couldn't get it. I needed a save when it was 4-2 so we could yank me to go down on the other end to get an opportunity. Breakaway goal, 5-2. I wasn't good enough tonight. My glove was like a fucking trampoline out there, so I basically had two blockers on. I booked ice tomorrow. I'm going to go back and try to fix the problem. We're going to shoot like 500 pucks in my glove, and I'm going to learn how to catch a goddamn puck again. Because my glove was a problem tonight. Like, there was two goals where I'm going to make a glove save, I fumble it, and that leads into a play where a goal was generated. I'm getting a lot of grade A opportunities. I need to tailor my game around that. I need to make some adjustments and fix that so that when I'm getting these grade A opportunities against teams like this, when they're when they're very good, I show up, I make the saves, and we win, not the other way around. But I'm going to go back to work tomorrow. I'm going to fix some problems, and I'll get back on track with the goal that this is my division. I'm the best goalie in this division. There's no question about that. There's no doubt in my mind. There will be nobody that will put the work in. There will be nobody that will fix the problems and overcome the issues that I'm about to fix and overcome, not just now, over the course of the season. And I believe that will show in the results. It may not have so far, at least tonight especially, but I'm not going to point the finger. I'm not going to lay blame. I'm not going to make excuses, even a little bit. The only excuse is that I wasn't good enough tonight. And that needs to be fixed if we're going to write the ship and fix this problem. Just in G. 
Geo. We've recruited a new member of the team. This is my friend Sven. Our team couldn't afford a screen board, neither could I, so I made one. Welcome to the club, kid. <laughs> Elmer's new best friend. <laughs> yeah, whatever it takes to get a glove side shot off. Because remember, we're going until you break my glove. Sven needs to go on a diet. Did that go under where I think it did? It went under the hoof? Yeah. Don't ask me how, but it did. Okay, I know this is a hockey channel, but let's talk some politics and economics for a second. This gas price is 19 crowns a liter, which is almost $3 Canadian a liter. Eight bucks US for a gallon. Shit ain't cheap living here, man. I push your, uh... You look good. Oi! 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 Need a jacket, something? Nope, I'm good. Nothing. I come from Canada, boss. Canada, yeah. He looks like he's from like the Men in Black. He's going to a little party. My driver is here, so. I'm the we, chauffeur. We drive out. You look like you're from the Secret Service. <laughs> like Donald Trump's security. This is uh, much better. Cabanos, gourmet. I'm from It's the first time. Oh. <laughs> that looks so familiar. We're just uh, two dogs having dogs. <laughs> Before a party and a beer, you must have something hot. Like a French double. After you. Yes. After you, Mr. Pacino. Thank you very much. Okay, so mission log update. I came to downtown kind of ish homestead to try to pick up some postcards. I want to give my mom a postcard. I want to give my dad one, my woman one, kind of send them home. Let everybody know that I'm caring about them. I came to the shop, but they're closed. They're closed on weekends, so. Okay, so I had to go on a little bit of goose chase. I had to go into the local mall and I got three cards. I got this one for my mom because she likes Swedish stuff. She wants a lot of like Swedish like collectibles for me to send her home and, and bring back. I got this one for my dad because I think this is very fitting for him. And then for my woman, I got this one. And it says, I know it says happy 90th birthday, but it was either this or sorry I gave you chlamydia because the one that I wanted to find wasn't in stock. So I figured this is the next best option. So I got some stuff to send home.